Hello goddess, I freaking miss you. Mwah, mwah. I hope you're doing well, I hope you're feeling safe, I hope you're well hydrated, you're eating, you're fulfilling your soul, your energy, all that girly, because you definitely need to make sure you are on point. But anyways, bitch, I know it's been a long time. <laughs> Don't judge me, don't judge me. I've been kind of been busy with life, but you know, I'm just here on your timeline to remind you that you're that girl. Please do not give up on your dreams and I will continue to repost all my videos in regards to not giving up your dreams because you have to understand, girly, you are literally climbing towards your future self, right? If you wanna be rich, right? If you wanna be successful, right? If you wanna be happy, right? You need to work towards that and of course it's going to be a challenge of course it's not going to come easy bitch i'm literally struggling mentally but you know what i keep it going because you know you have to i'm telling you like no one else around you is your competition bitch you are your biggest competition and i know people will make it seem like you're trying to one-up them when really you're not even paying attention to them because i mean at the end of the day you're focused on your energy right like don't, it doesn't matter what's happening, it doesn't matter what's going on, sis. Like, keep your head in the game and continue to focus on you, right? So as I said, your dreams will matter, they do matter. And you have to make sure that you have a solid, like, mentalness. That's not even the right word, bitch, but I'm going to use it. You have the solid mentalness to keep yourself going. Because I'm telling you, a lot of things are happening in this world right now. Things that you cannot control. Things that are depressing and sad and and they bring you down and even think about, I get it. But at the end of the day, work on what you can control and what you can control is your mentality and how you work towards your own self, right? And I'm the type of girly where I'm like, you know, I used to be so people pleasing and I always worried about what everyone else feel or how everyone was gonna perceive me. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter like how nice or nice or kind or whatever you are there are going to be times where you are the villain in their story and that's okay but at the end of the day like make sure you focus on yourself and make sure you're growing if you have taken so many l's this year my girl trust me i have but and also last year i took so many l's last year but anyways if you have taken so many l's last year and this year just know you need to make sure that the next year sis that you're gonna be winning and bitch i'm gonna be here for you bitch if no one is here for you girly i'm fucking here for you bitch but anyways in regards to that like keep winning keep going do not do not focus on everything else think do not focus on things that you cannot control focus on what you can control and what you can't control is how you view that situation because here's the thing sometimes you are not the solution to that problem. I know all the girlies, we always wanna like make sure we fix things and make sure we work things out. Girlie, there are times where you are just not the solution to that problem. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be like, you know what, I am not the solution to this problem. I accept that universe, I'm just gonna let it go, right? We're not gonna carry on to other people's burdens. We're not gonna create burdens for ourselves that are unneeded. We're gonna focus on our mentality, making sure that we are good and we're keeping our sanity, bitch. Because as I said, a lot of things are happening right now. I don't wanna go too much into it because I try not to be as political as I know some of the YouTubers are. And also, I'm not necessarily always politically correct and I don't like insulting people or making fun of people like that. So in regards to that, like, as I said, let me love, just like, make sure you keep your focus. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. Um, focus on what you can control and what you cannot control. And of course, if you are having instances where you're like, you are going through it girly, just know that it is temporarily, I'm telling you, it is temporarily. Just remember that once you feel that sadness, that depression, and you can't like go outside and you can't do anything, feel that fucking moment, but then make sure you get your ass back up. Like do not, do not be sitting there depressed for long because girly, we don't wanna melt away. We wanna make sure that we are okay and we feel comfortable taking up space and we feel like, you know, we deserve to take up space. And and here's the thing, you are not a burden to anybody, bitch. I know I know it's crazy how your brain like really wants to fight you all the time. Uh, trust me, girl. I have I have so many crazy demons in my head, but at the end of the day, I keep them control, I keep them tamed, and how I do that is by basically focusing on myself and bettering myself. 
learning to be resilient. I think that's what really <laughs> has kept me in the game. And I kind of want to teach my girlies, like you guys, how to actually be that way. And really, as I said, like, as I said, what kind of really ha has helped me is learning that, hey, not everything's going to be perfect. Hey, not everything's going to go the way that I want it to go. There are some times where the universe will literally take things away from me for the betterment. And even though I may not feel like it's better right now, trust me, the universe has my back. And uh, basically, it will benefit me in the, in the future, right? Because there's so many people and uh, there's so many people... That the universe has taken away from me but then i at the time i was just like so upset about it and i'm like this person is really special to me why is the universe doing this to me only to find out that they were actually like an op like they were not they're my fucking enemy bitch like they were actually dreading my energy and it took me a while to understand that like even though i could pour love into a person sorry bitch that motorcycle was loud as hell for no reason also, I don't edit none of my videos. I know some people are like, girl, you should really edit things out. No, I just kind of like being me and I like being authentic. So when I fuck up, you hear that. Like, I don't want to, I mean, I maybe one day I could get a little professional and be like, oh guys, he, I had to de edit that out. But no, girly, like what you see is what you get. So <laughs> if you hear stuff in the background, it's fine. But what I really want to let you know is that Bitch, do not give up on your dreams. I am right fucking here, bitch. I, I, I do not want to see you like being crying and being like, you know, 2024 has passed. You're going to 2025 and bitch, you have done anything to basically help yourself. Like, no, we're going to change that. We're going to revamp. We're going to do better. We're going to we're going to always prosper. And I need you to be here with me. I need you to stay focused. And I know it's a lot. It's a lot to ask right now, especially when things are just happening. And that's OK, because at the end of the day, things are going to continue to happen. But the only thing you have to do is make sure you stay focused on your dreams, on your goals and all your aspirations. It doesn't matter what a man comes in your life, what woman comes in your life, what they and them, who, who, who entity, anybody comes into your life. Just make sure you're staying focused. You're staying focused. You're staying focused. Just remember the pain will pay off. The sadness will pay off. All of that anger, depression, all of that. I wouldn't say necessarily negative emotions, but a lot of your turbulences that you're going through will pay off in the future and you will see that. But for right now, my love, as I said, I just need you to stay focused. I need you to hang on. Just hang on a little longer, sis. And it's so, I know it's just so much. It's a lot right now, bitch. I know, but trust me, everything's gonna be okay. Just reel it in and try to calm your mind. I will tell you one thing that I've learned to calm my mind is by breathing, taking a deep breath, and as I said, like trying to decide if I am the answer to that problem. And if I'm not the answer to that problem, let it go, let the universe solve it and keep it going. A lot of times things don't deserve commentary, things don't deserve a solution, really. Because all most of the time, bitch, you're probably not the solution. And I feel like, you know, I'm not gonna like, <sighs> I'm not gonna be fussy about this. I kind of am a little passive. And I feel like, you know, I've kind of grown a little bit comfortable in being passive sometimes. Cause there are times where if I if I need to like become the problem, bitch, I will. But for the most of the time, I'm just gonna mind my business. Like somebody can be like walking around butt ass naked in front of me. And I'll be like, you know what, girl? I'm just gonna mind my business, continue doing what I have to do and just go where I need to go. Like that's the type of unbothered that I kind of am trying to approach right now. <laughs> but in regards to that, girly, I just wanna remind you to not give up. I'm here for you, but you better keep going. And 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 I, and I want to see your ass in 2025, happy, prospering. I need to see that. I don't need to see you being sad. I don't need to see you. I mean, I, I can see that a little bit, but then I need you to like recover from that. Like, I don't need to see you being the same person that you are in 2025. And I feel like, you know, we can and we should embrace change and we should evolve as a person. And to some of the girlies that are, they want to stay the same. Okay, that's cool. But then at the end of the day, if you continue to stay the same, you have to understand you have the same results the next fucking year. So <laughs> in regards to that, I love you, my good sis. I hope you're doing well. Um, mwah, mwah. I should be doing another video soon. And check up on you, bitch, because I'm making sure you're good. But in regards to that, I love you, goddesses. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing safe. I shall see you in my next video. Bye.